It is a time of turmoil. The last of Emperor Palpatine's clones has been destroyed by Luke Skywalker and his rebel allies, and control of the shattered remnants of the Empire now awaits their being ruthless enough to take it. A temporary ruling council has formed behind the scenes to maintain order, but the council itself is splintered by the conflicting ambitions of its members. Intrigue, deception, and betrayal are commonplace, as those who would replace the Emperor pursue their private goals. One man, Karnor Jax, holds sway over the Council. Having gained secret knowledge which could destroy each of his rivals, Jax has extorted his way to a position of prominence within the Council. But Karnor Jax's personal ambitions reach far beyond the temporary ruling body. He plans to position himself as a new Dark Lord, with the aid of the equally ambitious General Wessel, and eventually ascend to Palpatine's throne. Only one other knows of the Council's secrets and of Jax's plans. Hiding on the galaxy's outer edges, this lonely figure bides his time, awaiting his chance to destroy them all. Landing party, this is the Destiny. Report. Destiny, this is the landing party. We lost three ships coming through the asteroid shroud, but Squad 2 is intact, mostly. What is your current position? We've established a perimeter about 100 meters from the dwelling our sensors picked up. Nothing's coming out of there, unless we let it. Keep your eyes open, Sergeant. From what I've heard of this man, he won't be easy to catch. Proceed with your mission. Destiny out. Boys, you heard the man. Blaster's on full. I thought we were supposed to bring him in alive, Sarge. Bilkins, if half the stuff I heard about this guy is true, we'll be lucky to bring him in at all. Why is everybody firing all thrusters for just one target? We can have that little building down there cleared and under... Save your questions for your court-martial, Bilkins. This target's high priority. So we treat him like high priority. End of story. Now fan out. Let's do it by the numbers, boys. Call it out. Front entrance, no movement. Back entrance, all clear. North side of house, all clear. Same on the south side, no sign of movement. No signs of life anywhere. Could be empty, Sarge. Yeah, and Palpatine's my daddy. Check the door, Bilkins. Roger, Sarge. See, Sarge, I told you it was empty. Hey, what's that? Fall back! Fall back, is it? <laughs> there, Paul. Yes, officer? You can't go that way. You'll have to go through customs before you leave the docking bay. I wasn't aware that an out-of-the-way planet like Feta had a customs division. This is still the Empire. State your business and show me your identification. My business is exactly that. Mine. As for my identification, you'll find everything you need right there. This data disk is empty. I think you'll find what you're looking for in the small compartment on the back. One thousand credit chip. Trying to bribe a customs official? <laughs> this is still the Empire, isn't it? Very well, I accept. Move along! Move along! You there! Halt! State your business! <laughs> I don't care what any of you say, we're better off without old Palpatine. It's time for new ideas. The Empire's crumbling! I heard the Rebels captured a Super Star Destroyer. The Lusankia, over in the Vanek system. That's because the politicians are running the show now. At least the Emperor knew how to deal with the rebels. Well, yeah, until they killed him. I like Karner Jax. He knows how to deal with traitors. Hey, either of you recognize that guy at the bar? No. He wanted? I think he wants trouble. He was just eavesdropping on our conversation. Oh, yeah? Jax can dive nude into a supernova for all I care. He's out for himself and doesn't give a rip for soldiers like us. Yeah, I'd be more cautious if I were you. This conversation borders on treason, and I'm telling you, that guy is I don't care who's listening. Hey! Hey! You there! Why are you listening to conversations that don't concern you? 
Words spoken so loudly are there for anybody to hear. Oh, an insubordinate, huh? That's some nasty scar you got on your face there. <laughs> Maybe I'll make another one to match it. <laughs> you and your group have nothing to fear from me. Just return to your table and enjoy what's left of the evening. Didn't you know that when an Imperial officer asks you a question, you answer it? No kidding. Tell me why you were listening. Or I'll remove that scar the hard way. I'm going to ask you a second time. Sit down. And you won't be harmed. <laughs> I won't be. I think I better teach you a little respect. Watch it. He's got it. Let me pass. And I'll let the two of you live. Like that. Get him. Any other objectors? You there, Holt! Ah, I have my answer. Stormtroopers! It's, it's, he's over there! Kill those men! Drop your weapon or we'll... <laughs> Thus die all traitors. Hey, hey, you. You better come with me. Who are you? Someone who can help you. Come on, the ports will be closed, but I know a place. And why should I trust you? Because I can lead you to safety. This canteen is a favor to the local garrison. More stormtroopers will be on their way. You want to fight a whole battalion? Or take your chances with me? The alarm came from in here. Lead the way. General Wessel, I trust you've come to report that you succeeded in capturing Kyrkanos. Well, not exactly, Lord Jax. Not exactly. My men tracked him to an outer rim planet called Zadja in the Trilon sector, but he escaped before they could lay hands on him. Are you sure it was Kanos? We lost three squads in the attempt. <laughs> that is Kanos. We believe that he is still somewhere in that sector. Perhaps if we... No. He's far away from there by now. Believe me, General, I know how he thinks. Kinos is as resourceful as he is treacherous. I want to make myself very clear. If you lose him again, you will answer to me. Tear the galaxy apart, planet by planet, if that's what it takes, but find him. As long as he lives, our plans can never come to fruition. As long as he's alive, the Empire, our Empire is in jeopardy. But my lord, surely no one man can be that much of a <laughs> You have no idea what this one man is capable of. But I do. He is the only man in all the galaxy who can stand in the way of my... of our plans. As you say, my lord. From this moment on, General Wessel, you have but one mission. Find Kier Kanos. Name's Mercon. Tim Mercon. That was some number you did on those Imperials back at the cantina. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we get mostly thugs and thieves around these parts. Brawlers, backstabbers. But you fought with discipline. I mean, real style. <laughs> yeah, you're a real chatty fellow. I'm guessing you've got a military background. But you didn't come out of the regular academy, am I right? Maybe you're right. I shouldn't point my scanners at other people's business. Man's got a right to his privacy, you got a point there. But I've traveled a bit, and I've seen some things. The only men I've ever seen with the kinds of moves you got were either Jedi Knights are members of Palpatine's elite guard. You got anything to say? Is this the place? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> my little hidey hole. <laughs> Used to be my domicile till things started looking up. I use it as a warehouse now, mostly. Come on in. Done my share of trading. And you know a trader can't play by Imperial rules and still make an honest credit, so... I had to make a few alterations to the storeroom. Like this underground chamber, hidden underneath a stack of motivators I could never unload. <sighs> well, come on. This leads down to my hiding place. You go first. <laughs> right. <laughs> down we go. Mm. 
Oh. oh, my bones are getting too old for that. Hey, up there, any time you want to come down here and join me, I'll... There is no need to shout. Blazing! Blast it! <laughs> you, you, you move pretty quiet. <laughs> well, this is the place. Not much, just a square room. A couple of chairs and a cart. It's rough, but then I didn't build it for comfort. There's food and water to last a full cycle. Of course, you won't be down here anywhere near that long, huh? <laughs> On the way, you mentioned friends. Uh, yeah, oh, you got a beef with the Imperials? And I got friends who'll want to help you. Mm -hmm. uh, meantime, well... Why don't you get some sleep? You look like you could use it. Yeah. I'll be back! Sleep. I haven't closed my eyes since I was halfway across the galaxy. Recording activated. Uh, okay. This is my first entry. It's begun. If things are ever set right in this galaxy, this record is going to be useless. But if I die before things do get set right, maybe this will help someone continue my work. Okay, where to begin? That man, Murkon, called this room rough. <laughs> it is nothing compared to what I've been through. It's not even as bad as regular stormtrooper duty. That is where all this began. Ten years ago. The day I was drafted into the most elite unit in the galaxy. One band of rebel troublemakers. Kanos, Jax. Over here, Sergeant. Report. Give me a body count. This outpost is under control. 36 rebel instigators dead. <laughs> 36 against two, and you still came out on top. Nice work. Thank you, sir. You two were cut out for more than regular commando duty. I'm putting you two in for a transfer to Yinchor. Yinchor, sir? Uh, what's there? Special ops? Mm, something better. Yinchor is a closed planet. There's only one thing there. What is it? The training ground for the best of the best. The Emperor's Royal Guard. We'd never even seen the Royal Guard before. They only attended the Emperor himself, but we'd heard of them. They were ghosts, dressed in red, blood-colored phantoms. One of them was worth a hundred regular stormtroopers. They were the best in the galaxy. How could we say no? The next few years went by in a blur. Time did not matter on the planet Yinchor, only our training. Day after day, we honed our skills in a deadly arena suspended over a deep pit. A single misstep meant death. It was the testing ground known as the Squall. Now, is that the best you've got, Kano? I wouldn't waste my best on you, Connor Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! My blade. <laughs> Long gone now. I'm gonna have to get another. <laughs> I'll face it, Kier Kanos. In the squall, I always win. Yeah, Maybe. Right, right, right. Maybe. <laughs> the galaxy is a big place, and what we learn in the squall won't always apply. Why don't you just uh, climb down and get it? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. But the pit's bottomless. Only until you reach the core. Well, then things turn around and you start to rise again. Oh, yeah. What? Very <laughs> profound. But the only way I'm ever going to drop off the side of the training floors if somebody knocks me off. Enough. <laughs> Enough talking. The squall is not for compensation. The squall is life and death. But, sir, this is only practice. The better you are in practice, the fiercer you will be in defense of the Emperor. Those who succeed here will succeed among the stars. Those who fail will... Be What's that? A visitor. A visitor? I've been on Yinchor for three years now. We've never had a... All trainees assemble around the edge of the squall. Double time! Yes, yes sir. sir! Jax, do you... Do you see who's coming down from the landing port? Well, that squad's all dressed in red. Yeah. But only one squad dresses that way. The Royal Guard. <sighs> that means that our visitor is... Bow down, you dogs. Down on one knee. Yes, sir. As sir, your command. As your command. <laughs> Master, yes, Your Excellency. These are the latest trainees? 
Yes, my lord. They give a great deal out of loyalty to me. They honor me with their sacrifice. I shall speak with them. My students stand ready to... You there. Rise. What is your name? I... I'm Kyrkanos, Your Excellency. I know your life here cannot be easy, and your training is exceedingly difficult. Yes, sire, but it prepares me for a life of service to my emperor. Excellent. Lord Vader? Yes, my master. You are prepared for the demonstration? As it pleases you, my master. You may begin. Taskmaster, who is your best student? Burdanid is the most proficient, although Karnor Jax and Kir Kanos are... Burdanid. Yes, Lord Vader. Step into the squall with me. Now, take up your weapon. My lord? Attack me. Hold nothing back. But, your excellency? Do your duty, son. We watched the contest. I had fought Bird Danid many times in practice. His attacks were awesome. His defenses flawless. His technique perfect. Yet Vader toyed with him as if he were a child. My blade is at your throat, Danid. You do not ask for mercy? No, Lord Vader. As it should be. Give them your assessment, Lord Vader. If he was your best, you are not yet fit to serve the Emperor. You are weak. Return to your studies. You have much to learn. We did have a lot to learn. But Lord Vader had already taught us one thing. Service to the Emperor demanded more than mere perfection. Kanos, first entry, terminated. And you say one person was responsible for all this? That's right, Colonel Chef. Just one. Guy with a wicked scar across his face. A scar? I never saw anything like it. His fighting, I mean. I figured he could have took out the officers because they've been, you know, tipping the cup, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But once reinforcements arrived, I figured he was cooked. But he took these guys out as easy as can be. Well, who was he? I don't know. I've seen every kind of mercenary and killer come through my place, but this one, oh, this one was something else. Well, thank you for your cooperation. Take this man into custody as a material witness. What? But, but I, I got a place to run. And I have a murderer to catch. Hey, hey, this is unfair. Where's the justice? What are you doing Lieutenant! to Lieutenant! Sir! Cancel all departures from Feta. No ships are to leave this spaceport. Yes, sir. An incident like this could attract the attention of Central Command and ruin everything we've built here. Extortion of local shippers and merchants has brought in a tidy profit, and the last thing we want is someone higher up in the chain of command interfering. You think this killer could mean that much trouble, sir? You heard the barkeeper. This was no ordinary thug. No. What we have here is the work of an outlaw, and I plan to catch him and make sure that his past catches up with him. He's right down here. You've got more secrets than a Bothan work on. Just trying to keep my options open, Mirth. Here we go. Hey, stranger, I brought the... Oh! Nobody moves. Sadiq, put down that blaster. What's the deal? I do you a favor and you nearly crack my jaw. Who are these people? These are the friends I told you about. My name is Mirith Sin. I command the New Republic forces in this sector. S this is my second in command, Sadit. Direct your blaster away from my commander, or you and I will have a serious problem. I point my weapons wherever I want. So far, it's only been a problem for people on the other end. At ease, commander. So, you're the one that has all of Feta in an uproar. Mm. You know, Colonel Shev started turning the planet inside out looking for you. <laughs> if you can fight as well as Murkon claims. I'll be glad to have you join us. If this man can fight half as well as Murkhan claims, I'll be a two-tailed slewed gulper. We share a common enemy, that's all. I never agreed to join you or your yapping pets. It's up to you, stranger. You're right. 
Maybe we've got no reason to trust each other. Yeah. But after what you did at the cantina, I assumed we were on the same side. Hmm. Murkon stuck his neck out to help you. <laughs> so have I. You don't have to be grateful, but you should be smart. Hmm. The way Chev's troops are looking for you, it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We're offering you a safe haven. You can trust them. But it appears I have no choice. For now, let our common enemy unite us. The speeder is right over here. Come on, stranger, I'll show you where to sit. I don't like this. Something's not right about him. Why are we helping? A man with his skill and bearing doesn't end up on a dirt ball like Feta without a reason. I mean to find out what that reason is. Mm. Don't worry, Sadit. If he compromises us in any way, you can always get rid of him then. Mm -mm. Thanks, Murkon. Your help is always appreciated. Think nothing of it, Merith. Always glad to help my friends in the New Republic. Here, for your troubles. <laughs> and always glad to be reimbursed for my efforts. Now, go quickly. Stay away from the main boulevards. I know one of Chev's lieutenants. I'll see if I can't sidetrack the search effort a bit. <laughs> Very well. But don't take any undue risks. You're our eyes and ears in the city. We can't afford to lose you. You what? I, I, I forwarded the report on the Cantina murders to Central Command. It's standard operating procedure. You I, idiot! I, I thought I told you I wanted this kept quiet. Yes, sir. But it's standard procedure. I didn't think I could oh, just... Oh, by the but... Emperor's bones! You'll conspire with me to bribe an entire planet, but you're afraid to fudge a blasted report? Oh, we'll have to amend it somehow. Send a revision. It's too late, sir. General Wessel has taken some sort of interest in the murders. He's online now. Blast your bones. General Wessel, Colonel Shev at your service, sir. Uh, do what do I owe this honor? You know the reason, Shell. I've seen the report on the Cantina incident. Is the individual responsible in custody? Uh, not yet, sir, but every spaceport has been secured. I am certain that it's only a matter of time until... Your we... time is my time, Colonel Shev. What? Is that... <laughs> Lord Jax? I had no idea you were patched into the comlink. I shall make... I've taken a personal interest in this incident. In fact, General Wessel and I are en route to Feta as we speak. Here? But, Lord Jax, I assure you that that isn't necessary. I'm sure that my troops Your can handle... Your troops will do nothing, Colonel. I will not have this fugitive escape because of the incompetence of your poorly trained back planet units. I will oversee the capture of this man myself. Order your troops to stand down and await my arrival. But my lord, Jack's I... out. <sighs> what are we going to do? The first thing we're going to do is understand that there will be no reports sent to Central Command without my prior approval. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Colonel Shev. What? One of our informants says he has information concerning the location of the fugitive. Send him in. Now, while I'm interviewing this informant, I want you to organize our troops. It is imperative that we capture the outlaw before Jax arrives. But sir, I thought Lord Jax ordered a stand down. Do you really think this garrison can withstand the scrutiny of a visit by Lord Jax? No. The only way for any of us to keep our commissions is for us to have the fugitive in custody when Jax arrives. But if we fail, if we're still hunting when he gets here... Don't worry, don't worry. I suspect I'm about to receive information that will guarantee our success. You mean this informant? It's probably just another gutter scum looking for a reward. May I come in, Colonel Chef? Of course. <laughs> if half of what I've heard of you is true, you're welcome. Now, tell me your name. My name is Mercom. And I can tell you where to find the man you're looking for. Murkon, how do I know your information is accurate? I keep my ears open, Colonel Sir. Keep my eyes open, too. For what I've got, you'll pay me big. <laughs> or I'll kill you if you're wasting my time. <laughs> this information had better lead me to the fugitive. 
Him, plus a rebel stronghold in your own backyard. A rebel outpost? Here? <laughs> On Feda? That's impossible. <laughs> Apparently not. Why, you... you! <sighs> Do not forget your place. Any more insolence like that, and I'll feed you to my battle dogs. Now, I have received no information concerning a rebel stronghold on my planet. Your lieutenants spend more time collecting bribes at the custom stations than they do guarding your glorious empire from the enemy. And I suppose you're a patriot? I suspect you've known about this rebel hideout for some time. Lieutenant! Sir! Get the details from the slime trail. Pay him what he wants, then throw him into the street. And if his information isn't correct? Time is running out. General Wessel will be here shortly with Lord Jax, and we don't have many options, do we? If Murkon is telling the truth, we'll have one chance to remedy the situation. Do not fail. I'll see that the preparations are made. This mountain chain extends for a thousand kilometers in either direction. It's the backbone of the planet. We're only about 50 clicks from the spaceport, but it might as well be another star system for the terrain that has to be covered. We're building a stronghold right under the Empire's nose. Their scouts do flyovers all the time, but they haven't spotted us. Well, that's surprising, considering your defenses are so obvious. Obvious? They're hidden enough to have escaped your notice, stranger. Not really. We've already passed by four perimeter outposts camouflaged to look like rock formations. You missed one. I wasn't counting the fifth because it's been abandoned. You're wrong there. Uh, Sadit, he's right. We pulled Team Six off that station and powered it down last week. Here we are. Welcome back, Commander. Hey, Commander! Hey, 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 Massimo. Hope you didn't accidentally come link to the Imperials while I was gone. <laughs> we did, but they thought we were just ordering takeout. <laughs> so, this the guy from the cantina? That he is. That story true, stranger? You really killed 20 Imperials with just a hand-to-hand -hand weapon? If that's the story, I see no reason to change it. How'd you learn to fight like that? By sticking my nose where it didn't belong. <laughs> What's with this guy, Commander? Sounds like he's looking for trouble. I'd be disappointed there. You'd be no trouble at all. Enough, both of you. Why'd you bring him here, Commander? He's a fugitive from the Empire, Massimo, and one who knows how to fight. I offered him sanctuary. In our secret base? How do we know the scene at the cantina wasn't a setup? Twenty Imperials, my afterburners. How do we know he isn't a spy? That's right, that's right. That's right. You, who are you? Where'd you come from? What's your name? My name is Kier Kanos. It will not be difficult for you to discover that the Empire has placed a price on my head. I will not trouble you long with my presence. Kanos is here on my authority, Massimo. If you want to challenge that, you'd better bring it up with the New Republic Command. Until then, have the mess hall prepare a meal for our guest. Thank you. The food was excellent. That's all you're eating? If I'd been hiding out in Murkon's basement like that, I'd be hungry enough to eat a bantha. <laughs> a full stomach dulls the senses. Meaning you don't feel safe here. Look, you'll have to forgive Massimo and Sadit. Mm. They aren't usually so belligerent. I think they feel threatened by you. Yeah? You carry yourself like a man looking for a fight. Well, I am. But not with them. So what's your story, Kirkanos? You a noble on the run? <laughs> Or an Imperial officer wanted for treason. I'm no more noble than you are. Hmm, a traitor then. I've never betrayed anyone. Then what about your loyalties? You said back in town something about a common enemy. That was curious. Whose side are you on, the New Republic or the Empire? I'm no friend of the ruling council, if that's the answer you want. The council has seized power in an illegal manner. Every man on it is a traitor, and I've sworn to do everything in my power to bring about its downfall. That scar on your face. I've seen a wound like that before. It was made by a lightsaber, wasn't it? That's irrelevant. I guess it's pretty unlikely. There are so few Jedi left. And what about you? How did you end up as a leader of a group of rebels in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> We're not rebels anymore, Kanos. We're the New Republic, haven't you heard? Yeah, someone might imagine that. <laughs> now your story. It's short. Yeah? 
I grew up on Nez Peron. I was going to marry a farmer. We didn't have much, but it was enough to make a life. Mm -hmm. We would have been happy. But? But, one day an Imperial frigate dropped into orbit. They'd been damaged in a fight against the rebel fleet. Mm -hmm. They came down demanding supplies. My fiancé objected. So they killed him without warning. I promised that I wouldn't stop fighting until the Empire was destroyed. Vengeance. We do have something in common. Here. Massimo, the door buzzer works, you know. Where's Sadit? You want to hear this too? He's back in town, monitoring troop movements. What is it? I decided to take your guest's advice and do some checking on him. Thought you'd want to know that by bringing him here, you've jeopardized our very existence. What are you talking about? Kanos doesn't just have a price on his head. He's wanted by Karnor Jax himself. All the more reason we should trust him, Massimo. Anyone who frags the most powerful member of the ruling council has got to be a friend of ours. I'm no one's friend. You got that right, stranger. Massimo, outside now. I want a word with you. But- I am still in command here. Outside. Recorder on. Recording. That woman, Mirith, doesn't know how honest I'm being with her. If only she'd been there on Yinchor on that last day of our training. You have given your lives to a cause greater than yourselves. You've sacrificed much to attain a chance at the greatest honor the Empire can bestow upon a man. Among all the recruits, only four of you have distinguished yourselves. Only four have met the standards of the Imperial Royal Guard. Now step forward and be recognized. Limit talk. Sir. Kier Kanos. Sir. Alum Frost. Yes, sir. And Carnor Jax. I knew it. We did it, Lemmet. Congratulations, Kanos. I can't believe it. Luck's been with us. <laughs> Maybe you were lucky, Kanos, but Carnor Jax makes his own luck. It was skill and determination that got me here. Silence. I... For the past years, you have trained in pairs, living as close as brothers, learning to rely on one another and to work together. By seeing the strengths in your training partner, you've learned to build those strengths in yourself. By seeing his weaknesses, you've learned to overcome your own. Together, you have survived trials that have destroyed lesser men. Your training is at an end, but there is one final test that will be conducted by the Emperor himself. Bring on the test, I'm ready. The test lies through this door. Here, Kanos, let me talk. Enter. Good luck, Emmett. You too, Kanos. Kneel before your Emperor. My lord. My lord. I have heard only good reports of your training, your sacrifices, your loyalty. Rise. The Emperor has two openings. That's perfect. One for each of us. One will be filled by your colleagues. The other will be given to one of you. But why? How would we decide? Fight. To the death. To the... But we've trained together for years. Obey your emperor. But my lord, we... Obey your emperor. I can't do it. I must. <laughs> Lemon, I don't want to do this. Shut up, Canis. Do your duty to your emperor. You don't have an option. If you don't, you can bet that I'll do mine. No! So be it. I'm a talk. I am so sorry. <laughs> Excellent. You have passed your final test. You will serve your emperor well. Goodbye, my friend. I am so sorry. You no longer have the right to be sorry. From this moment on, you belong to the Emperor. His every wish is your command. It is not for you to question or regret the results of those commands. You have grown strong, Kier Kanos. Oh, oh, my face! My face! 
but always remember that you are weak before the power of the dark side. Hey. Hmm? You okay? Oh. I didn't mean to disturb you. Yes, I, I was just, um, reflecting. Recorder off. Recording off. You've, um, dealt with your colleague? For the moment. Okay. It'll take Massimo a while to cool down, but you're in no danger. Oh, I know. Come on. I'll show you how our little base stacks up. Okay. It's not like we can defend the whole system or anything, but I like to think we're strong enough to deal with anything the Empire can throw at us. I hope Colonel Shev obeys your orders to stand down, Lord Jax. Why would he not? He strikes me as more of a bureaucrat than a soldier. And if he is a soldier, he's hardly ambitious enough to defy me. He might not defy you out of ambition, my lord, but out of desperation. My spies tell me that Shev's command is rotten with corruption. He may be foolish enough to attempt capturing Kanos in order to avoid scrutiny of his operation. A man who would send untested, second-rate troops against Kanos is indeed foolish. And to defy me, he'd have to have a death wish. <laughs> If Shev does disobey you, my lord, I promise I'll have his head on us. Yes, 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 but that is the least of my concerns. I do not want Kanos flushed from his hiding place before we arrive. General Wessel, get us to Feda now. Burn out the engines if you have to, but I want Kanos! his hollow image gets distributed to every squad leader. Remember, Colonel Shev is not sending you out there simply to wipe out a rebel base. You, his best troops, have been assigned the task of bringing the ruling council's most wanted fugitive to justice. This will be a glorious day for the Empire. Now move out! Yes, sir! Get those scout walkers up and running. By the gods of Lucre. I didn't think old Colonel Shev could form a thought this quickly, let alone put it into action. Well, no problem. I always could turn an unexpected turn of events my way. Just have to figure out how to... What the... Keep quiet. You want the entire Imperial garrison to hear Oh, you. Sadid, you, you scared the life out of me. Never mind that. What in the name of all the stars is going on here? Colonel Shev knows about your base in the mountains. He's going to attack. Impossible. How could he know? I, uh, I heard it. It had something to do with the fugitive. Kanos. I should have known. Mirith Sin. The base. We must warn them. No way. Shev's troops will have all communications channels jammed. Then we'll carry the warning ourselves. Over but hurry! That turbo lift leads to the Overlook. From there, we command a view of every slope leading up to the mountain. I see. We've also got a sensor array up there that can detect anything larger than a TIE fighter entering orbit over this hemisphere. That, plus the turbo laser emplacements we've got, keeps us fairly secure against attack. Well, well, Commander Sid. <laughs> Have you given our guest the passcodes yet? Maybe given him the itinerary for the Republic High Council? Massimo, I thought you'd given up. Thought wrong, Mirith. That's Commander to you. We'll see. We want Kanos out of here before he brings trouble. That's right. You don't have the authority to make that decision. I will. Soon enough. You want to knife fight me, Massimo? That'll be the last in a long line of mistakes. Stop it! Stop! I'm gonna slice you so thin, you won't even cast a shadow. Watch it. Stop this madness! What are you doing? This isn't your concern, Sadit. Nor yours, Kanos. This is between me and the Commander. We have to sound the alarm. Shev is on his way here with his troops. What, Shev? Shev? What? How did he find out about this base? It's Kanos! I told you! He's brought them on us. It's time he was dealt with! Yeah. I give the orders here! Kanos hasn't been alone long enough to do anything. He's had no opportunity to... <laughs> sound the alarm! <laughs> Battle stations! <laughs> get back inside, Kanos. Sadiq, let's get to the <laughs> Overlook. <laughs> Come on! By the stars! He sent his entire 
entire division after us. Scanners count 14 TIE fighters, two regiments of stormtroopers. Perimeter sweep says there are three heavy battle tanks rolling toward the main wall. Hangar Bay, this is Commander Sin. Scramble all fighters. I want everything we have in the air, now. Masume, get down to the front line. Order Blue Squad to advance. I want them to engage those tanks before they reach the wall. Right, Blue Squad, but Miri. Hold on, Sadit. Comm Center, send a coded signal to the New Republic. Tell them we're under attack and we need... <laughs> Sadit! Are you okay? Yes, probably. Just a concussion. Where are those blasted fighters? We need air cover. We'll get it, Merith. You've got to listen to me. You sent Blue Squad too far forward. What are you talking about? They're going to get flanked by Chev's troops, and we won't be able to give them supporting fire without hitting them. But I... Blast! Come on, Sadit! Fall back! Fall back! We can't! Massimo, we're cut off! Imperial troops are behind us! Curse that mirror! I should have sliced her when I had the chance! What do we do? Fight! Fight! If they're gonna kill us, we'll make them work for it! Surrender, rebel scum! <laughs> they won't take Massimo without... <laughs> Blast it! This one's still alive. You two, oh. take him back behind the lines. Oh. Colonel Shev may want him for questioning. The rest of you, press forward! We've got the rebels on the run! Move out! You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Who are you? Sir, look what he's wearing! Red armor! Red cloak! It's one of the Imperial Guards! Out here? I don't believe it! And believe this! Ah! Holy stars! He's doing it! He's killing them all! It's... it's no good. We'll never make it in time. I've doomed those soldiers! Mirth, look! What is that? One of Palpatine's guards is out there. What's he doing on Feda? I don't know, but he won't be here for long. I won't miss from this range. Sadiq, no, look! He's fighting against the stormtroopers! Let's go! Watch out! There's another one behind you! I see him. Stand out of my way. You're slowing me down. I'm slowing you down? I've never seen anyone move so fast in my life. You there, surrender your weapons. Come and take it. <laughs> Massimo! Commander! Are you injured? I'll live. Do you see what I see? You there! Who are you? Where did you come from? Don't you recognize me, Commander? Take off that red helmet and maybe a... an interceptor! It's coming back around! Everyone take cover! <laughs> ah! We've got to take out that blasted ship! He's coming around for another pass! We've got to take it out before it kills us! With what? All I've got is my hand blaster! Give it to me. Alpha-6 to command, I'm making another attack run. Copy, Alpha-6. Sweep the area, then head for the main building. Our battle tanks are coming under heavy fire and need air support. Copy, Command Center, just as soon as I take out the last of these. What in the name of the Emperor's bones? Say again, Alpha-6. There's an Imperial Royal Guardsman right in the middle of the battlefield. Shoot him! I'm headed straight for him, targeting now. Don't wait! Fire! Fire! He's pointing a hand blaster at me, as though he could shoot me through the viewport at this distance. I- <laughs> Alpha-6, do you copy? Six, are you still airborne? Come, officer, you still have Alpha-6 on your screen? Yes, sir, but the ship's just changed course. It's headed straight for us. Alpha-6, pull out! Your head straight for us! Pull out! Pull out! Pull out! The Imperials are retreating! That TIE Interceptor smashed into their command center! Thanks to you, stranger. I... I don't know why someone wearing the armor of the Royal Guardsmen would fight for the New Republic. But you saved a lot of lives today. People would have died because of me if you hadn't. Whoever you are, thanks. Don't thank me. And don't think you don't know me. Kanos? Should have known it was you under that helmet. See, Massimo, I told you he was on our side. No. I fight for my own causes, and what I did today, I did for no one but myself. But you defended our outpost. The Imperials were only attacking your outpost to get to me. I did what I had to do to prevent that. Oh? 
and shooting down that TIE interceptor that was gunning directly for Sadiq, Massimo, and me. That was purely self-defense. <laughs> Looked more like the act of a hero to me, Kanos. I merely turned one of the Empire's weapons against itself. Bantha fodder. There's no way you could have known the interceptor would crash into the Imperial Command Center. All right. Then call what I did. Thanks for the hospitality. But don't read too much into my actions, Mira. Someday, I might be forced to fight against you. Massimo. Back off, Sadit. This is between me and Mirith. I told you it was a mistake bringing Kanos here. Now because of his presence, our base has been compromised. We'll find a new base. The important thing is that we survived the best the local garrison could throw at us. The important thing is we've got a member of the Royal Guard sitting in our lap. That Royal Guard saved your life, Massimo. He wouldn't have had to if he were somewhere else. Or if you hadn't brought him to our base, you should have checked him out, Mirith. You would have found out the Empire was on his trail. But how did the Empire find us? Clearly Kanos did not betray us. It was his actions that won the battle. Well, I can't argue with that. Someone else then? We'll find out. In the meantime, start prepping transports and loading equipment. I want us ready to get off this rock in 12 hours. What are you going to do, Mirith? I've got questions. And Kanos is going to answer them. Kanos, we need to talk. Kanos? Hmm. Not here. Not here. This Kanos is as slippery as a Circapian eel bird. Maybe a quick look around will turn. Ah, just what I'm looking for a recording device. Playback activated. This is Kanos. Third entry. Hmm. I've spent so much time trying to form a plan for the future. I realize that I've not yet set down the events of the past. This is going to be important when everything is finished. This should be interesting. Okay. It began a few months ago. After the death of the Emperor, the surviving members of the Imperial Guard gathered at our training center on the planet Yinchor. Many of my brother guardsmen had perished when the Jedi, Skywalker, and his companions destroyed the Emperor's throne world. And when the Emperor met his end at the hands of the hated Jedi on the planet Onderon, two more of our brothers died with him. Or so we thought. On the tenth day of our mourning, another one of our brothers joined us. My brothers! Kyle Hanna! My brothers! Brothers! Oh, oh he's falling! Help, help him! him. Help oh, him! He looks help injured! Him. Help Kyle Hanna! We thought you died on Onderon. I survived. Barely. I was unable to save our Emperor from the Rebels. Oh, no. But I managed to follow them back to their base. I overheard the Rebel traders interrogating the Emperor's personal physician. What? 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 Physician, say? But what would he be? The physician confessed something to the rebels. He told them he had been paid to create faulty clones for the Emperor. Oh, hey, hey, by who? Faulty clones? But, but that means his death was inevitable. Yes. I made my way back here to Yinshor because I found out something even more shocking. The one who paid the physician is known to us. No. It is one of our own. Of our own. Karnor Jax. Ah, Jax. No! Jax! But I thought he had died when the throne world was destroyed. Yes. He is alive. Yes. He is a traitor. Ah, oh, traitor. He betrayed our Emperor. The Emperor must be avenged. Yes. 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 Well spoken, Kanos. It is time for us to end our mourning. Palpatine is dead. But we must still defend his honor. We must find Karnor Jax. Yes. And Karnor Jax. Too late, my old friends. Karnor Jax has found you. Watch out! Get down! An ambush! Stay alive! Jax's treachery went far deeper than we could have imagined. 
It was not enough for him that the Emperor die. He demanded the death of all those loyal to Palpatine as well. Somehow, he had gained control of the Imperial armies. Two divisions of stormtroopers swarmed into our stronghold at Yinchor with orders to destroy us. But they had a terrible price to pay. There is a reason that Palpatine's guards were called the best of the best. In the battle that followed, we killed hundreds of stormtroopers. But alas, Carno Jax had brought many thousand. One by one, the Royal Guard fell. Kanos, one of us must survive. You're right, Kyle. But I'm not one to run from a fight. Nor am I. It's certain death for the one who stays. But we've got to choose. Look, here's a coin. If it lands with the Emperor's emblem up, I win and I get to choose. If it lands down, you win and you choose. Agreed. The emblem is up. You win. Then I choose to stay. I'll delay them long enough for you to escape. You're very brave. And an honor to the Royal Guards, Kyle. Farewell, my friend. Goodbye, Kanos. Good luck. In his place, I probably would have made the same choice. Instead, I slunk away from Yinchor like a frightened slime monkey. End of recording. By the Emperor's bones. Inappropriate of? Kanos! Uh, how did you sneak in here? <laughs> well, these are my quarters. By the stars, you move quietly. Uh, did that recording answer all your questions? Uh, yes. Kanos... You have my apologies, mm -hmm. but as commander of this facility, I needed to know everything I could about you. It does not matter. Nothing you've learned could help you interfere with my goal. Then you're still bent on vengeance against Karnor Jax? Of course. So what brought you to Feda? Jax's influence with the ruling council has grown. His spies are everywhere. I was just looking for a quiet place to hide for a while. <laughs> it's not so quiet. Fate seems to have brought me here. Just as it has denied me a noble death. Fate has thrown us together, Kanos. And united us against a common enemy. Mm -hmm. The New Republic could use a man like you. Join us and become No! A I told you, I fight for no cause but my own. Now I must return to the spaceport in my ship. Every moment I delay brings the danger of a new assault by Jax that much closer. At least let us help you escape. The spaceport will be watched. I know the pilot of the Millennium Falcon. He could smuggle I can you find my own way past Colonel Chef's guards. You'd best get to your own ships. Your soldiers are ready to evacuate. Excuse me, Merith. Yes, Adit. We must go. The first transport is already away, and Murkhan has returned to town. I don't trust him. Murkhan, I don't trust you. Get out. But Colonel Shev, I swear get I- Get out! No! Before I strap you to the exhaust port of the next freighter off this rock. Do that, Colonel, and you'll exhaust the only source of valuable information you have left. What? What do you have to offer that could possibly be worth interrupting me when I have Lord Jax about to drop a Star Destroyer on my head? Then let me offer you the head of Kier Kanos. We've had this discussion before, Murkhan. And I delivered. Kanos was there, wasn't he? The rebel base was there, wasn't it? And I promise you, if you act quickly, Kanos' ship will be waiting too. His ship? Where? Check the manifests at your spaceport. A small ship docked only a short time before the violence at the cantina the other day. It's still in the port. Why didn't you speak up? I still have a chance. Sound the alert. I want every available man ready to move. Now! Steady. Hold it steady. The sphere will defy gravity. By my will and by the dark side of the force. Lord Jax. Wessel, be silent. Can't you see I'm concentrating? My lord, your power and the force grow stronger by the day. Indeed. Soon I will have mastered it completely. Soon everything that was Palpatine's will be mine. Do you mean ours, my lord? Of course, of course. What do you want? The ship is just now dropping out of hyperspace. As soon as contact can be established, I'll get a full status report from Colonel Shev. Well, I hope Shev has been as obedient as he is expected to be, General. If he has done anything to jeopardize the capture of Kirkenos, I'll crush him. <laughs> That's the last of the transport ships, Mirith. Good. Then we'd better get moving. It's a long way to the pass at Kolofwale. Do you think this plan will work? It should. The Imperials will expect us to make a break for it now that our hideout's been compromised. When they track the transports leaving the system, they'll figure they were right. Meanwhile, we go to ground in a new hideout. 
Sometimes a hole they've already discovered is the best place to hide. I noticed you didn't tell your plan to Kanos. Strictly protocol, Sadit. I still don't believe he betrayed us. It doesn't make any sense. Well, somebody tipped off Colonel Shev. And if it wasn't Kanos, then it was somebody Evening, else. Evening, Commander Sin. Murkon, I thought you'd gone. I had some business in town, but it's been accomplished. I thought I'd come see if I could be of any help. You're the most help when you're in town keeping your eyes and ears open. Mm. And your mouth shut, yes, Smirkon? Uh, of course. Of course. <clears throat> well then, uh, next time I contact you, it should be at the old base in the Premi Hills? Exactly, we... No, that's wrong. We're going to our fallback position at Colofuale. Oh, a good choice. I'll see you there. What was that about, Sadit? Nothing, Commander. I'm just not sure I trust him anymore. You don't trust Kanos, and you don't trust Murkon. At this moment, I doubt there are two more unlikable men in the galaxy. Lord Jax, General Wessel, welcome to Feda. You honor me with your Enough. presence. But my lord, Dispense I... with the pleasantries. Tell me about Kanos. Have you discovered his whereabouts? Is he under surveillance? Well, my lord, he has proved quite elusive. Uh, we are watching his ship, but as yet he is not- Silence! I've already learned of your incompetence. You failed to follow my direct orders, Colonel. <laughs> but, my lord, I, I assure you that I'll do everything in my power your to get- power? You better hope that your power was at least able to prevent Kanos from escaping. If it was not, I'll cut off your legs and make you suck the marrow from your own thigh bones. Are we clear? Yes, yes, my lord. Now, uh, who led the pathetic assault? I did, my lord. Summarize. Our attack ended up in a complete rout. But with the location of the rebel base exposed, we believe the rebels will go off planet. We've already tracked several unregistered transports leaving from the outlying areas. No, no, the rebels are here. Of that I am certain. General Wessel, your opinion. The Star Destroyer called Emperor's Revenge orbits overhead. It could blast their base to rubble before they're able to evacuate completely. If Kanos is with them, he would surely... Be Unthinkable. Kanos would surely escape. No, no. I insist on witnessing Kanos' death myself. Besides, the rebels have had ample opportunity to relocate. Lord Jax, a man, a civilian, has contacted us over the comm channel. He requests to be heard by you. He says he has information on Kir Kanos. What's his name? He calls himself... Murkon. A local informant, my lord. I assure you, he is quite reliable. Your assurance means nothing. But my senses tell me that this man could be useful. Transfer the signal to this room. Yes, my lord. State your purpose. Is this Lord Jack? State your purpose. I have information that you'll find worth a credit or two. I could transmit it to you now. Then do it. Well, I got to admit, I was hoping for some sort of reward, say a finder's fee. If your information is valuable, you'll be rewarded accordingly. That's all that I'm asking. Transmitting now. Indeed. Well done, Mercon. You shall have your reward. Jack's out. <laughs> oh, not a bad day's work, Mercon, my old friend. Keep this up, and you'll be able to retire in no time. I don't think you'll live that long, old friend. Mirith, how did you- Thanks to Sadit here. He got it into his head that somebody was betraying us. I knew it couldn't be Kanos. You were next on the list. Oh, my, 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 my friends, my friends, it's not what you think. I never betrayed the New Republic. I told them nothing of you, nothing of Kolofuali. I only gave them Kir Kanos. He's an Imperial. He was under my protection. He had my guarantee of safe passage off the planet. Did you tell them where we were sending him? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What does it matter? He's a royal guardsman. He's the worst of the worst. He saved our base, Murkon, and you sold him out. Oh, stay away. Get away. You'll never catch going somewhere, Murkon. <laughs> <laughs> Thus die all traitors. What now, Mirith? We gotta stop Kanos from trying to reach his ship. There's no time to contact him. You two prepare a surprise for anyone who comes to visit Murkon here. I'll prepare a surprise for the Imperials. Anything unusual? Nothing yet, sir. Lord Jax will have that old man's heart if he was lying. Shh, shh, no, wait. 
Someone's coming. The old man was right. Is it him? I can't tell under that dark cloak. It's gotta be. Right. Ready the capture net. Capture net ready. And fire! Ah! Oh! Ah! We get them! No, don't let him go! Hold them down! Poor ah! 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 General Wessel! He's ours! Yes. Excellent work. Get the prisoner to his feet. Remove that cloak. What in the name of the Emperor? <laughs> Hiya, fellas. A woman! <laughs> oh, Lord Jax, I don't know how this could be. Don't you? I warned you not to underestimate Kanos. Send your men after Murkon, General. In the meantime, bring the woman to the command center. I think we should have a talk. <laughs> Yes, yes. Go ahead and fight. The sensors read your responses and adjust the pain accordingly. The more you resist, the greater the pain. Oh, I've seen grown men cry like babies. Yeah, well, that's a man for you. Just tell me where to find Kanos. Go, go. Enough. Oh, such resolve. With dedication like this, it's no wonder the rebels have given the Imperium so much trouble. Oh, but you will talk. And so will Murkon. Freeze! Nobody move in the name of Lord Jax! There's nobody here, sir. Wait, yes there is. There's someone there on the floor. It's Murkon. I, I think he's dead. Then why is he making that... Noise. Everyone! Everyone out! It's... Somehow, I don't think you'll get much information out of Murkon. Perhaps. Well, I'll just have to get it out of you. And what are you gonna do? Torture me some more? Go ahead. I can take it. I have no doubt. Still, there are so many ways to skin a hut. General Wessel. Has the Steadfast arrived? Yes, my lord. It's just entered orbit with your command ship, the Emperor's Revenge. Excellent. My dear, have you ever seen what a Star Destroyer can do to the surface of an unshielded planet? Stones run like water and sand turns to glass. And I have two Star Destroyers at my disposal. <laughs> yeah? Well, this planet could use a few new rivers, and I never cared much for sand anyway. <laughs> well spoken. Of course, it does even worse things to people. People? You wouldn't hurt innocent civilians. As a point of fact, I would. But I doubt you'll let it come to that. We'll begin with a salvo directed at your army's fallback position on Kolofowale. Oh, my God. Oh. Then the old man was telling the truth about your hideaway. Excellent. General Wessel, begin the bombardment. No! But, what did you say? You can stop the attack, you know, but you're not using the right words. Tell me what I want to know. Kanos is... he's off the planet already. He's headed for Yinshore. When we learned about Murkon's treachery, I acted as a decoy. He slipped away while you were questioning me. Yinshore? Why Yinshore? It's a lifeless planet. There's nothing there. She must be lying. No. She's telling the truth. Yinshore is where we will find Kanos. He'll be waiting for me. Tell my shuttle pilots to stand by. Order the Emperor's revenge to prepare for hyperspace. We leave for Yinshore immediately. And what are your orders for the other Star Destroyer? Uh, the Steadfast is to remain in orbit and obliterate the Rebel base. No one is to be left alive. What? You said my people would live if I told you where Kanos was. Uh, Kanos expected you to talk. Otherwise, he wouldn't have told you his destination. That Ugh. makes you little more than a messenger and our deal is void. Yes. However, since I try not to kill the messenger, you may go free. Oh, but I would avoid the outpost at Kolofuale. In a few moments, it will become quite an unpleasant place to be. Oh! Uh. Beard. Sadit? What are you doing here? I'm trying to figure out a way to get in and rescue you. But I see you found your own way out. Not with my honor. I had to give up Kanos. From what I've seen, Kanos can take care of himself. Oh, you haven't met Karnor Jax. 
But that's not our biggest problem. Murkon told them about our fallback position. The Imperials are preparing to bombard Kolo Fuale. We've got to get those troops out of there. We used most of our transports as decoys. We'll never get everyone off planet in time. Then we'll send them deeper into the mountains. There may be another way to save Kolo Fuale. You mean... Yes. I got your request for help through to the New Republic Command. They agree to your plan. Woo! This I have got to see. Come on. Where are we going? To commandeer a ship. Captain Vivant, Lord Jax is hailing you. On screen. Lord Jax, Captain Vivant here. The Steadfast awaits your orders. My ship is about to jump into hyperspace, Captain. I expect you to remain here. Use every battery the Steadfast has and reduce that mountain hideout to a crater. Yes, my lord. Leveling that mountain is your primary mission. Everything else is secondary. Do you understand, Captain? Very well, my lord. Jack's out. Sir, the Emperor's revenge has just entered hyperspace. Good. Divert our power to weapon systems. Prepare to bombard the rebel base. Sir, there's an alert in Sector 4. A group of ships has just entered the system. It's a squadron of rebel fighters. Continue with the attack. What could a Star Destroyer have to fear from a single squadron of fighters? Tighten your formation, boys. We got one Imperial Star Destroyer dead ahead. Look at her, just sitting there waiting to be beat. Cut the chatter and prepare for battle. Time to remind these Imperials what Rogue Squadron can do. All rogues, engage that Star Destroyer. Copy, Rogue Leader. Rogue 6, Rogue 3, target the deflector towers. Copy, Rogue Leader. Watch it, Sando. There's heavy fire from the port battery. Captain Vivant, that squadron of rebel fighters has opened fire. I'm diverting port battery power to the shields. Delay that order. But, Captain, the ships... We have our orders from Lord Jax. Maintain the attack on the planet's surface. Let our TIE fighters handle the rebels. Rogue Squadron, watch out for those TIE fighters! They're swarming like Rodian blood flies! Yeah, let them come, Rogue One. I'm ready for a good fight. Well, save it, Rogue Two. These boys mean business. Don't worry, Rogue Leader. There's not an Imperial born that can... Rogue Two! Rogue Two, do you copy? They got him. They're everywhere! Hang in there, Rogue Squad. Remember, we're just a diversionary force. We just need to keep them busy for a while. But we're outnumbered two to one! All right, then let's start evening the odds. Yeah! Captain, enemy ships have penetrated our TIE fighter screens. They've weakened our forward shields. The next attack might get through. The TIE pilots will take care of it. That's what they're paid for. Concentrate on destroying that base on the planet's surface. All batteries, fire at will. Like another direct hit. And that rebel base is a hundred kilometers away, and you can still hear the blast impact. The Star Destroyer will level it faster than you can skin a Wookiee. What kind of energy output do you think that ship's generating? I don't know. Maybe 20, 30 meg? That's the trouble with you Imperials. What? You spend more time enjoying your handiwork than watching your backs. What the an intruder! Sound the alarm! <laughs> nice shooting, Sadit. You too, Mirith. But you still haven't told me what good this will do us, sneaking around the spaceport while our troops are pinned down out at Kolofuale. I thought we were going to commandeer a ship. Our ships are too far away, and the Imperials have taken all their own. We need a fast craft, so we're taking this one. This? It looks like a pile of scrap held together by hot slime and good wishes. Maybe, but I checked the spaceport's logs. This is Kier Kanos's ship, and I'm betting there's more to it than meets the eye. Just like him. Let's get going. You were right, Mirith. This ship looks like a tramp freighter, but it handles like a skip-ray blast boat. We're breaking out of the gravity well. There's the Star Destroyer. I'm reading about 20 Republic spacecraft engaged with 40 to 50 TIE fighters. Looks like your plan is working. Right. Now let's see if the real surprise shows up. Captain Vivant, a ship has just left the planet's surface. It appears to be joining the attack. From Vader? Every ship was supposed to be grounded. Of all the incompetence! Captain, sensors have just picked up another ship. It's dropping out of hyperspace now! Enough! 
No more interruptions until that rebel base has been wiped off the face of the planet! Sir, this one's a superstar destroyer! We've cleared hyperspace, General. Sir, the Imperial Star Destroyer just shunted all energy from weapons to shields. Well, now they're diverting power back to engines. It's like they don't know what to do. Now I doubt they were expecting to see this ship in their rearview mirror. Bring us in close. Let's put that Star Destroyer in our shadow. Shields up. Yes, sir. Shields up. Weapons to maximum. All weapons show green lights. Open a comm channel. Comm link is open, sir. Attention, Imperial Star Destroyer. This is General Wedge Antilles, commanding the New Republic ship Lusankia. You are ordered to surrender and stand by to be boarded or we will destroy you. Antilles out. No reply yet, sir. Well, I'll give them a minute. If they don't back down, we'll remind them who the biggest kid in the system is. <laughs> Any sign of the other Star Destroyer? Negative, sir. Blast! Must have left the system before we arrived. I wonder where it's gone. Scanners, report. 10,000 kilometers from the planet Yinchor and closing fast, General Wessel. Excellent. Let me know the minute we are. General, around. there's a scimitar starfighter in orbit around the planet. A scimitar fighter was stolen from the dry docks on Fadar. That's got to be Kano's. Life signs. Engine output is blurring our scans, sir. But watch how it maneuvers. Someone's guiding that ship. Lock on tractor beams. Bring the traitor aboard. Jack's here. My lord, it looks like we've arrived before Kano's could land. We're bringing his ship aboard even as we speak. Thank you, General. Jack's out. Wessel is a fool. Sergeant. Yes, sir. I called you and your men here for an important reason. You six are the best stormtroopers in the Empire, made even better by my personal training. Yes, yes sir. sir! Now, the purpose of your training is at hand. Follow me to the shuttle, quickly. Team six to the aft compartment. Activating magnetic shield. Opening blast doors. I want Kano's taken alive. You there, get that hatch open. The hatch is sealed, sir. The mechanism can't be overridden. Then burn it open. Somebody get me the bridge. Yes, sir, General. Where is Lord Jax? He should be here for the capture. Uh, sir, we just cleared Lord Jax's shuttle for departure to the planet's surface. He left? But why? General, we've broken through the hatch. Good. Assault team into position. Okay, open it. But, sir, the ship is empty. There's nothing aboard but this maintenance droid. A maintenance droid could not have piloted that ship all the way from Theta. At best, it could hold the ship in orbit for a short time. But why? Oh, blast. Lord Jax, the Emperor's Revenge. He just exploded. Yes. Kanos is doing. A single man took out an entire Star Destroyer? Yes, and he waits for us below. We mustn't keep him waiting. Commander Sin, welcome aboard the Lusankia. I've heard a lot about you. Thank you, General. That's high praise from someone who served the New Republic from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I started out as a lucky pilot who managed to survive the Battle of Yavin. And look where I ended up, commanding a Super Star Destroyer. Lucky for us. <laughs> this is my second in command, Sadiq. How do you do? Thanks for the assist. I'm not sure what my people would have done without you or Rogue Squadron. Aw, oh, don't mention it, Commander. I wouldn't have missed it for all the spice in the Trilon Sector. It's not every day one gets an opportunity to capture a Star Destroyer and liberate an entire planet. <laughs> Any word of my people? Well, the Steadfast managed to hit them pretty hard before we arrived, but most of your troops had gone deep into the planet. Casualties were light, considering. We've dispatched medics and supplies. Thanks again. Now, if we could just figure out where Kirkanos went... Now, if this Royal Guardsman is everything your comm message said he was, I think I know where he is. Where? Well, our ciphers picked up a message on the Imperial Channels. One of their Star Destroyers, the Emperor's Revenge, had some sort of accident over the planet Yinchor. All hands were lost. That's Kanos, all right. Yeah, this has not been a good day for the Empire. General, hmm. with your permission, I'd like to go after him. You're not under my command, but why? I believe Kanos would be a valuable ally. If he was willing to join our side. He just needs more persuading. Kanos, I 
know you're down there. I can feel it. Sergeant. My lord. You and your men fan out. Search the ruins. Find Kanos. Sir, this facility is in serious disrepair. There must be a thousand places to hide. Going in there now would mean scattering my men. Tactics suggest... Tactics are irrelevant. Whatever tactics you chose, Kanos would anticipate them. Your best bet is to rush him, force him into a hurried decision, perhaps even a mistake. Now go. Yes, my lord. Move out! Move out! <sighs> he will be no match for Kanos. But at least they'll wear him down. But perhaps one of them will get lucky. All units, sound off. Unit one, I'm on the south side, all clear. Unit two, all clear. Three, all clear. Four here, no sign of the target. Unit five here, I think I see something at... Ah! Unit 5? Five. 5! All units converge on his location. I'm on my way. All units, talk to me. Unit 2 here. Unit 3 and I found Unit 5. He's dead. Where in all the hills are the others? Unit 4 here. I'm about 30 meters from the others. I found Unit 1. He's dead too. Blast it! I can't see any of you through all these ruins. Two and three, maintain position. Unit four, turn north and move toward me. I'll meet up with you. Unit four? Unit four! Unit four has been decommissioned. I'm coming after you next. Who's that? By the stars, he's wiping us out. Two and three, stay where you are. Watch each other's backs. Unit two, do you copy? No, they don't. You. I'm gonna blow you to atoms. I don't think so. <laughs> no. Jax, it's just you and me. Yes, it looks like we're back where we started, Kanos. Jax! You! Did you choose to return here to the Squall on purpose? Or did your subconscious bring you back to our old training ground? It seemed fitting. <laughs> Too bad your henchmen weren't up to the challenge. Mm -hmm. Were you hoping your troops would do your dirty work? <laughs> I'm not at all, Kanos. Just amusing myself. <laughs> As supreme ruler of the galaxy, I find myself becoming bored with ordinary forms of entertainment. You don't rule anything yet, Jax. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> and yours has run out. That's Yinchor, Mirith. Another big empty rock. Galaxies full of them. Yes, thanks to the Empire. I still don't see why we're charging across the galaxy for Kanos. He's not going to help us. He fought beside us when we needed his help. Maybe he needs ours now. Oh, are you mad? Look at all the wreckage from the Emperor's revenge. Kanos blew it up all by himself. Somehow I don't think he needs help. I'm getting readings from the planet's surface. There's an Imperial shuttle down there, and I'm betting Kanos is still alive. Let's go! You've been resourceful, Kir Kanos, as I knew you would be. But this will be the last time our paths cross. This is the Squall. Yes. And if you remember, in the Squall... Ah! Ah! I always win! Not today. <laughs> You've grown, but so have I! You have no idea what I've learned. Soon I'll be as powerful as Vader, or even Palpatine himself! <laughs> Poor Chaos, still living in the past, still wishing for his old life as the Emperor's guard dog. Well, the galaxy has changed. Now it's mine for the taking. <laughs> I will rule the Empire! No! I will sit on Palpatine's throne! No! I will! You'll die, Jax. We're going to end this. Pick up your weapon. 
<laughs> My weapon. Oh, Kano says, I have weapons you haven't even dreamed of. While you were bowing and scraping before Palpatine, I was watching, learning, mastering the powers of the dark side! Ah! Ah! The dark side is like a blaster, Kanos. It's primed, ready, waiting to be used. I need only pull the trigger and anything, uh, a rock or a bat, a scrap of metal, leaps to do my bit. Ah! <laughs> no, Kanos. It is you who will die. I'm not beaten yet. Yes? General Antilles, there's a uh, Lieutenant Massimo to see you, sir. Well, send him right in. <laughs> Lieutenant Massimo, how goes it on the surface? The Imperials have either fled or surrendered, General. Thanks to you. Mm. But I have a request. Yes? I need a ship, sir. A fast one. A ship? To follow Commander Sin. I understand she's gone after Kier Kanos, and I think she may need our help. Well, we're in the middle of liberating an entire planet, Lieutenant. I'm not sure I have any ships to spare. Besides, Commander Sin seems quite capable yes, of sir, taking- Yes, sir, but it's more than that. The Commander and I had a, a, a disagreement over bringing Kanos to our base. We nearly came to blows over the matter. It seems now that she was right in her judgment, and I, I, I need to find her, sir. If she needs help, I need to be there to- to let her know I was wrong. I understand, Lieutenant. Flight officer. Yes, sir. Prep a Sentinel-class cruiser for immediate launch. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. And may the Force be with you. You're hurt, Kanos. Why not end this now? This end when you're dead. You're so full of rage, Kanos. It clouds your mind. Oh, I'll teach you how to channel it. Use it to make you stronger. You could go far if you fought beside me. More lies. No, 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 think of it. There are no two men like us in the entire galaxy. Let the past go. Palpatine is dead by your hand. And that's why you must die by mine. <laughs> think what I'm offering you, Kirkanos. A chance to help forge a new empire. Well, you would have a seat on the council. A seat beside thieves and opportunists. A seat among murderers. Those on the council will be the next to die. Very well, then. You've made your choice. I thought I could make you see. Instead, I'll put out your eyes forever. Ah, company. Put the weapon down or we'll blow you to the stars. Commander, stay back. Don't get too close! I mean it. Let Kanos go! Why, Kanos, I believe this woman cares for you. That alone is reason enough to kill her! Ah! <laughs> Rebel scum. I should have done this the first time I had the chance. <laughs> You'll take no more lives, Jax. Curse you, Kanos. Why don't you just die? Minute, are you all right? Yes! <laughs> I've never been hit like that before. We must stop this fight! I can stop it with one shot! No! We need Jax alive! He knows everything about the Empire. If we interrogate him, we can destroy the Empire in a matter of months. We need him alive! How touching. Your friends want me alive, Kanos. I, of course, am under no such constraints. That! And the Force will ensure my victory! My blaster! No, my blaster. And I'm going to enjoy blasting you two rebels into slag. Look out! Ah! Oh! What? Kings. Ah! No! What? Your friends. They wanted me alive. They're not my friends. Carter Jacks. For your part in the assassination of Emperor Palpatine, and for the murders of your fellow royal guardsmen... Kanos, no! We need him alive! I condemn you to death! No! No! Sadid, stay back! No! No! Sadid! 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 Kanos! You killed him! I'm sorry. The way he came at me, he gave me no choice. Why? We helped you! I didn't ask for your help. 
And I warned you that only our common enemy united us. Sadiq died a warrior's death as loyal to his cause as I am to mine. My only regret is that the death was unnecessary. You cold-hearted son of a- You should not have interfered. Now you'll have to live with the consequences. I'm sorry for your friend. And for you. And I'm sorry for you. What will you live for now that our common enemy is dead? There are others. Commander? Commander! Here, Massimo. Where's Sadiq? He's... here. Under this cairn of rocks. Oh, Sadiq. And Jax? Also dead. Where's Kir Kanos? Gone. Back into hiding until he's ready to strike again. But I'm going to find him, Massimo. There's nowhere in the galaxy he can hide from me. As of this moment, Kanos is a condemned man. And I swear by the stars that I will be his executioner. Oh.